Well, good morning. It's Monday morning tea time with Mick. I hope you are off to a great start to your new week. I'd like to bring you a word of encouragement, if I may, from God's word. I'm reminded of the minor prophet Hosea. And in Hosea chapter 6, verse 6, one of the life verses for me, Hosea said this to the nation of Israel. It's not your sacrifice that I desire. It's your love. It's not your offering that I hope for. I want you to know me. Wow, pretty powerful words from the prophet, isn't it? So often you and I get caught up in to the works mentality. And the works mentality is a very dangerous uh, thing to get engaged with with God. And why is that? Because when we get into a works mentality and our relationship with him is dependent upon that, we'll have moments where we feel really close to God because we're doing really, really well. And then we'll have moments where we aren't doing so good and we feel distant and uh, far from God. Well, God's love is for us in all situations, whether we're doing well or whether we are not, whether we are successful or whether we fail. He is faithful to us even when we are faithless, Scripture declares. And what he's saying to us is there's nothing wrong with your actions. There's nothing wrong with good deeds, but they should follow simply because of a love relationship, not to try to earn a relationship big difference. But that's difficult, isn't it? Because we live in a society that's all dependent upon what we do. If we are a good student, we get rewarded. If we're good at work, we get rewarded. If we do well in our, our marriage, we get rewarded. So there's so many things in our life that is all dependent on what we do. Not the case with him. With him, it's about knowing him and loving him. And when we lay that foundation, that we truly have an intimate relationship with him, it's in that moment that we then have the overflow of that love relationship that will bleed into the things that we do. So there's nothing wrong with doing good things. The issue is whether or not or what is the motive for why we do them. And when we do them for the right reason, then we're able to have the relationship that he desires for us. I hope that's really, really helpful for you because it sure is for me. I know that in my own life that I sometimes get caught up into this, hey, God, look at me moment when I feel like I have sacrificed or done so many good things for him that somehow he's now obligated that he needs to engage me and bless me extra. But he's always he's always uh, blessing me and he's always there whether I'm doing something sacrificial or not. The things I do is out of my is the result of my love relationship with him. And that makes all the difference in the world. And that gives me the security to continue to move forward. I hope the same is for you today. So if you're in a moment where you're not doing well, he loves you. If you're in a moment that you are doing well, he doesn't love you anymore. He simply loves you. He's there for you every moment of every day. A wonderful truth for us. So let's lean in. What do you say? Let's get closer to him. Let's allow his word to penetrate our lives in such a way that we become transformed and become more like Jesus then our motives can be checked and our desires can align and our heart can beat as his. That's the prayer for me. That's my prayer for you because he loves you. He always has and he always will. He goes before you and behind you and absolutely nothing can take you out of his hand. I pray you have a blessed week. And to this truth I say, all right and amen.